Hey guys, this episode we're gonna be doing something totally different. We're gonna be building an Alexa skill inside of our Rails application. Now, if you're not familiar, Alexa is Amazon's voice assistant and we can create skills which allow us to talk to our Alexa, which will talk to our Rails app, which can do things for us, and then it will talk back to us and say, hey, whatever uh, we requested is done. So what we're gonna build in this episode is something super simple. I just had a baby, so we need to keep track of feedings, um, dirty diapers, weight, all kinds of different little things like that. Um, so we're gonna be building a very simple Alexa skill to do that for us. So let's go to our terminal and create a new Rails app called Alexa skill. And we will create this Rails app. It is going to then um, be run locally using ngrok. So we're gonna end up generating a uh, free HTTPS um, URL that we can have Alexa talk to, which will then send the request to our local machine and we can process and develop it. So we're gonna make a note here of this host and we're going to tell Rails that that host is allowed in development. So let's go into Alexa skills and we'll go into development.rb and say config.host uh, equals ngrok and I think maybe we can do plus equals or shovel um, this onto that array just to allow our Rails app to be um, using that ngrok domain. So if we start up a Rails server, let's actually create our model for this. We're gonna generate a, um, let's generate a scaffold so we can actually see the records that are created, but let's generate a model called event. And our events are gonna be really simple. I think we're just gonna have a kind that's a string and we're gonna have um, basically feedings, diaper changes, uh, weight, whatever we might want. Um, we can add other metadata into this, but for the very simple, like when was the last feeding, um, we'll be able to just do this with the created at timestamp and our event type or kind in this case, since type is a reserved uh, keyword for STI in Rails. We'll call it kind and we'll just generate that. 